We are at Open Mobile. We are showing the WebOS emulator. We are on a virtual machine with all sorts of goodies, Windows 7 and all sorts of things. But this is the WebOS emulator and they are showing the Open Mobile goodies. All right, go for it. Yeah, so what we have here is we have uh, Guitar Hero, we've got Twitter, we've got um, uh, Connect 4. They're all Android apps running in uh, WebOS. Uh, and we can s switch in, we can play. Remember, this is slow because it's, a, it's in a virtual box. Um, but it works exactly as you can see down here. We have the soft keys from Android. Uh, so what version technically of Android would that is that considered? Do you know? Uh, we are, our current release, we're working towards Ice Cream Sandwich. Current release is Gingerbread. Okay. Um, but, you know, again, this is all new. Sure, sure. All right. Uh, so the only thing we have, I've got to use this keyboard here to oh, uh, excuse me. the home key. We haven't mapped that over. Um, but as you can see so here. So it's running in cards. You're running Android apps. That was cards that were going there. That's correct, yeah. Okay, so in a nutshell, I understand the secret sauce and we don't yeah. want to get into that, but how does this work? The, the users cannot buy this. That's correct. We work with uh, large OEMs. Um, Bob told you the HP story. Uh, so w they would actually bundle this in. Uh, okay. So what you, you just I don't go back to card. Uh, yeah, that's the only just the only caveat. That's fine. We ran out of time. So this would be if so in an open source WebOS world, the way that this would work is someone decides to make a WebOS tablet or yeah. gizmo, and they, you guys would sell to that manufacturer. That's correct. And then that opens up. And can you show the? Um, what language is this? <laughs> I don't even have a clue. You, so you would show um, the way your stuff works is there is an app store that appears in the app manager of WebOS, right? It, no, you you wouldn't even see us. So think of it. Think of you. you everybody's familiar with Flash runtimes, sure. right? You run a Flash. Think of us as an Android runtime. But if I right? wanted to get this, okay, say I have a WebOS device and I'm living in the perfect world where yeah. you guys are on it. Yeah. And I want Guitar Hero 5. How would I get that? Okay, app? so you would go to, uh, we're working on a, uh, a, a or I'll call a uh, app mall. So I'd see, I want Guitar Hero. I can see where there are uh, the 10 places that it's available. I can say, hey, you know, it's on sale at the Amazon for 99 cents today. You know, you can click there, we get transport you over to the, to the Amazon. Amazon uh, App Store, and you can purchase it from there. So the only one, and we were talking a little bit earlier, but the only one that you don't work with is the official That's Amazon, correct. Uh, Android yeah, Store. Yeah, it's not a technical issue, it's a legal issue. You, they, you know, a, uh, Google gets paid for you uh, to allow your devices to access. Okay. So you can, but there's, a, what did you say, 150 different stores? Uh, uh, actually, about 220, I believe, was the last count. 220 different stores that you guys have access to yeah. that you would be able to get, if you're on any other store, including Amazon, which yeah. you had mentioned, yeah. which I guess is probably the second largest. Uh, the real get one. Jar, I think, is bigger. Get Jar? Yeah. So, but if you're on any of those, if you if you are an app developer and published to anything but the official Android store, you would appear on something with open mobile software. That's correct. So, you know, you're, you know Get Jar, uh, mobile be hand, um, you know, any of those uh, uh, handster, they all have outreach programs to the developers anyways. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, you know, for instance, Glue, Glue Mobile here may have a partnership with one of these guys, right? Mm -hmm. So they're, they're going to get it on there. Um, do you read Spanish? I have no idea what we're doing. I don't either. I just pushed the button so somebody would move. All right. So, uh, they, you know, basically uh, the point being is they'll get the apps. Okay. And so you guys are working with, without developing or divulging what you guys are doing. You guys are trying to get on WebOS, and right now we would like there are you know barriers. I, I think I think people can help us. You know, your audience can help us by letting HP know that you want something like this. All right. Right. I think we can do that. Because uh, you know, yes, Bob said he's interested in getting it on there. We just need to show that you know there's there's a demand for this. Okay. And you know, I like to think, you know, with with something like this, you know, that um, you know, it wouldn't have been a, uh, you know, H HP would have had an easier time getting into the market than they. You had the initial Android apps. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's a fair assessment. So I can't read what it says here, but it looks like an error. Condition. That's okay. So. Right now, where is your, what is your target market outside of WebOS? What are you guys? So we we produce it for the Migo. We produce the, the same. So here's Facebook. 
running on Amiga 1.29 tablet edition. Um, as you can see here, it run, looks uh, Android, ta uh, the Android uh, taskbar, mm -hmm. apps powered by Open Mobile. Uh, we can switch. And this is Migo? This is Migo. Migo yep. is about a half a dozen apps. We have about, uh, I don't know, about 200, 300 apps installed on this uh, particular tablet, and the Migo can you know, access all of them. Now, what about like Windows Phone 7? So that's uh, one of the things that we can, uh, that we will work on. Um, it would be helpful if we had so an OEM to help us. So you would talk to, in that case, like Nokia, or you would talk to Samsung who makes a new phone. Yeah. That's who would obviously you're going for, not Microsoft itself. Uh, That'd exactly. be ideal, right? It's ideal, yeah, was. ideal. Okay. Well, great. Are we missing anything that you would like well, to show us? Um, you know, Bob's a better storyteller than I am, but uh, yeah, I think... Well, uh, I think it's a good a demo of yeah. showing, I mean, it's showing an Android app running. This is not an emulator. I think that's No, that, that's yeah, absolutely There's not a, an emulator. They were explaining There's a little bit so about this works. The, you, sh you, sh you should know that the only thing that prevents us from putting this on real hardware is there's certain drivers that are closed, closed source that if we had them, we could run this on real hardware. Okay. So, um, but otherwise, you know, it's the same. And from a performance perspective, we were talking about this oh, earlier. Oh, yeah, that's actually, that, that's, yeah, so that's, uh, I, I don't know if Bob covered this with you, but, so what we took was two tablets, side by side, identical pieces of hardware, uh, ran ACL on one, and on the other, we ran Android x86. Uh, in our unoptimized state, we were at 90% of the Android performance. Okay. So we we expect once we do optimization, we'd be around 95 uh, plus percent. Because I mean, if, if, when someone told me, okay, we're coming to your booth and you can run everything yeah. of Android on something else, that immediately I'm thinking an emulator, right? You, you got to talk to Ziggy. This guy's a rocket scientist. Okay. Uh, he's our CTO. Uh -huh. he, he's figured out how to take the Dalvik VM and make it portable. Right, and this is what makes our solutions are much, much better than other, you know, other potential uh, solutions you may find. We're not virtualized. We can take a APK from anywhere and run into this unmodified, and at, at great performance levels. And remember, when you do virtualization, it's a resource hog. We're designed to work in very low resource environments like phones. Okay. So it was a harder technical path to take, but it was the right technical path to take. So it, this will work. We're showing tablets on all these little demos. Yeah. But it's it's phone-based. So phone we have a set-top box. Say again. They have a set-top set box. box. Yeah. So we have uh, an Intel CE forty one hundred set-top box. Uh, it's running. You know, we can running. Let's see, running here's uh, Facebook. Running on this particular. Uh, and it can work on phones. Or yeah. So it's nothing yeah. prevented. So if this worked, if you got all the hurdles fixed of WebOS, you'd be able to run on, say, the Pre-3 or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Or, I guess Android phones doesn't matter. But, but anything. <laughs> iOS obviously is out. You, you know, closed, you can imagine, like, Symbian. How many Symbian phones are there out there? Right? Like a billion. Yeah, a billion. So we could, you know, we, anything with the Linux core, uh, we can run, right? Windows is a little exception, but we figured out how to do well, that. Well, yeah, it's worth making an exception for yeah. Windows. Absolutely. Yeah, so. All right, I appreciate your time. Thank you so very much. All right.